For Chris Pincher, the question is, can he survive as an MP? For Boris Johnson, it's shouldn't he have realised the risk he was running appointing this man to be Deputy Chief Whip? Today, the minister who had to face the media was sticking to the line that the government has set down. All I can do is take Number 10's word on this one, that um, the, the Prime Minister was not aware of any specific allegation. But I'd actually go further, and I'd say in the context of the appalling allegations, uh, quite shocking allegations that we've heard over the past few days, I can't believe the Prime Minister or any other employer in our country, on the basis of that information, if they'd have known, would have taken the decision to appoint Chris to government, let alone to be Deputy Chief Whip. But today, the Prime Minister's spokesman said Boris Johnson had been aware of media reports about Chris Pincher and of some allegations that had either been resolved or which hadn't become a formal complaint. And... It's been reported that Boris Johnson once referred to Chris Pincher as Pincher by name and Pincher by nature. Today, Downing Street was given several opportunities to deny he ever said that, and they didn't. MPs from other parties have been disciplined for sexual misconduct, but in this parliament, most cases have involved Conservatives. Here are just three examples from the last two months. The former Wakefield MP Imran Ahmed Khan was jailed after being convicted of assaulting a teenager. Neil Parrish had to quit as an MP after watching porn in the Commons. And an as yet unnamed MP is waiting to hear if he will be charged with rape. For Labour, the appointment of Chris Pincher is just the latest example of the Prime Minister's bad judgment. It's wrong that the Prime Minister appointed this person knowing that there were allegations against him to a position where he's responsible for welfare and discipline within the Parliamentary Conservative Party. That is really quite a, an astonishing thing to have done. Knowing what he did, Boris Johnson thinks, well, you know, what this guy needs is a really big promotion. Uh, yeah, well, thank you, Mr. Speaker. This afternoon, the Prime Minister has been back in the House of Commons talking about his week away on the world stage. But thanks to Chris Pincher, this has been a bumpy return home.